I'm gonna show you three ways to make money on Facebook inside of this video. Hey, my friend, my name is Benjamin Jakes. I'm the founder of blissinbusiness.com. And if you're interested in making money on Facebook, I'm gonna show you three different methods that I've used personally that have worked for my clients as well that you can start implementing literally the second that you're finished watching this video. And I know that you'll love number three, which is the last one, because that is the one that can help you make money the fastest. And by the way, if you're interested in all things making money on Facebook, go ahead and hit the link in the description and I have an exclusive training there for you that you cannot find on YouTube that's going to show you how to pull $1,000 to $15,000 sales on your personal Facebook profile without relying on paid ads or long-winded sales calls. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. The first thing that you want to do is build a group that at the same time builds an email list, right? So think of groups as kind of like your email list on Facebook. Now, that being said, I want to immediately throw a disclaimer in there that you should not think for a second, oh, I don't need an email list. Oh, email marketing is dead. Oh, Facebook groups are the new email list. Like do both, right? Do all the things, right? So when you're building a Facebook group, you can have questions that you're asking people when they're entering your group, right? So you can kind of position the group as like, hey, you can come and join this hub that I'm in. Let's just say, for example, that you provide productivity tips, right? And you're like, hey, I'm gonna be dropping consistent productivity tips and trainings in my group. I'm not gonna be sharing these on my profile. So you can come and join my group and you can promote that group via ads you can promote it organically, whatever you want to do, but it's kind of like this hub where you're providing this value that nobody can get anywhere else. Now, while people are joining the group, you can ask them different questions for them to actually get in. And this is a beautiful opportunity for you to learn a little bit more about who you're actually selling to. But one of those questions, what you want to do is you want to have some kind of free resource and you want to ask them, hey, I have this free resource here. In this case, the group's about productivity let's say, for example, and you wrote a free guide where you interviewed three millionaires about their productivity secrets, right? And so you wrote something called like millionaire productivity secrets or whatever it is, right? One of your questions is going to say, hey, I interviewed three millionaires about their productivity secrets and put it in a guide called millionaire productivity secrets. If you'd like it, totally optional, but if you'd like it, enter your email below and I'll send it to you, right? All of a sudden you got permission from that person. They typed their email in and you can either do this yourself. You can have a VA add it to your email list or you can get different softwares that just automatically upload that to an email list. And then boom, now you have somebody on your personal Facebook profile. You have them in a group that you own and you also have them on an email list. And if you were smart in that funnel, you actually have like retargeting pixels as well. If you're advertising the Facebook group. So now you have them on retargeting lists as well. So you have them in like three or four lists, like right off the bat. And this is going to be a beautiful opportunity where you can't, and this is going to be a beautiful opportunity where you're not just focused on like selling them something like immediately. Like you're obviously seeing who your people are. It's going to be a small percentage. They're going to raise their hands and be like, I'm down to buy right now, even though I just met you. Like some people will do that. Most will not do that. But the beauty in this is that you have people to follow up with on your profile, in the group, on your email list, and with retargeting if you get more advanced with it, right? And so the cool thing about this is that people are going to take a lot more exposures to buy these days, right? A lot of times back in the day, more people would just buy right off the bat. And then they had to see something like a few times and then they would buy, right? And nowadays, people have to see things like a zillion times before it really sinks in enough to buy because there's just so many competing things in the marketplace, right? You're competing with all the things, right? And so what you want to do is you want to be able to get your marketing message in front of them more often. And one of the ways that you can do that versus just pushing out messages literally more often is you can have them see your message in more places. And so if they're not just seeing it on your personal profile, but they're also seeing it in the group and they're also getting emails about it, they're going to be more likely to buy, right? And so that's just a beautiful place where you can start to build out these lists and then you can monetize these lists long term. 
Now, the second thing you can do is you can sell digital products. And these don't have to be your products. Yes, you can obviously build your own courses and all of that cool stuff, but you can also find courses that other people have built, right? And so let's say, for example, you found a really, really cool course and it's helping people with mental health issues. And that's like the general niche that you're in. Well, you can go into a lot of free Facebook groups where people are having mental health issues and they're stressed out and they're posting about it all the time. And what you can do is you can simply add people from those groups as a friend, just literally clicking the little add friend button, not sending a creepy like, hey, I see we're like-minded type of thing, but literally just clicking the add friend button. If they come back to your profile and they see that you're posting valuable insights that are going to help them with their mental health stuff, and then maybe at the end of it, you're recommending some course and you're saying, hey, this is my advice, but also like I got this course and it helped me so much with it. And all that you're doing is you're just being cool, right? You're just providing some value and then you're just pointing to a place where you got even more value and you're just letting them know, right? This is like super under the radar. It's not aggressive. It's not like salesy and pushy and all that stuff. And the beauty with this is that this is a very, very easy way to sell and to have people actually thank you for selling them, right? Because you're not like countdown timer. There's five left, da, 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 da. Like maybe the sales page does some of that, but you're not doing this like hard close, like, you know, here's all the facts and you got to buy type of thing in your post, right? You're being really light about it. And even if they don't buy, they love you and they're starting to build a relationship with you because you're just providing value and providing value and providing value and just attaching a little sales pitch to that value. And in this case, that sales pitch is very under the radar if it's like somebody else's digital product and you're just pointing in that direction. I used to sell a business training program that wasn't mine. I was an affiliate for it. And they had these like beautiful, like weekly calls that had like so much valuable information. And all that I would do is I would take notes on these calls and I would take my notes in like bullet point format. And then I'd have a ton of bullet points and I would just make a Facebook post for one bullet point and just expand on it in the post. And then I'd have a call to action. That's like, by the way, I learned this over here on our last weekly training. This was one of like 13 points or something something that I learned that I wanted to just expand on a little bit. If you want to check out where I'm learning this stuff, you can check it out over here. And then I have a link to their funnel and I let them do all the work for me. People that love the value in those posts would convert like crazy, especially after seeing a few, because they're like, oh my God, this is like one of the things that Ben learned. And that was so valuable to me. And he learned like 15 things. And that was just in like one weekly training. And there's like a training every week. And there's like a back office with trainings. Like I'm just going to get in the thing and get all the value, right? That's like where they tip in their minds. And then conversion becomes very, very easy. So you can obviously do this with other people's affiliate programs at first, like their digital courses, because that's going to be an easier barrier to entry. And then as you go, you can swap that to your own courses if you do want to go that route and actually build your own. Now, the third way that you can make money on Facebook is selling services to business owners. And I want to just clarify here again, my like little disclaimer is you do not have to be the person that is fulfilling these services. And I actually recommend that long term, you are not that person, right? So if you go into different groups of entrepreneurs, one thing that you'll see is that all entrepreneurs are just jealous of all other entrepreneurs that are above their success level. And you can deny it if you want all day long if you're an entrepreneur, but it is the way things are, right? We see somebody who's blowing up on TikTok and we're like, I want to blow up on TikTok, right? Whether you consciously think that or you don't, if you see somebody with a higher level of success than you in a certain area, a part of you wants to replicate that success. And so what you need to do is understand what trends are happening in the marketplace. And so if you start to join groups, free groups and paid groups that are full of marketers and entrepreneurs and business owners, they always want the latest and greatest marketing tactic. That always changes. It's always a new thing. But whenever something rises, there's going to be entrepreneurs who rise to fill that need, right? They're kind of selling like picks and shovels, if you will, like how people did that in like the gold rush era. And so, for example, when story videos came out, right, like the vertical videos, what happened is all of a sudden agencies came out and they're like, we'll make these videos for you. We'll pump ads to these videos for you. You know, like we'll do all this stuff. We'll post these and have like an organic strategy behind these videos for you. And one entrepreneur would be like, I'm not going to do that right now. But then what happens is he or she starts to 
see all the other entrepreneurs around them make these story videos, FOMO kicks in, they feel left out, they start to wonder, am I gonna you know, be stagnant? Am I not gonna get good results if I don't do this? And then all of a sudden, they're chatting up that agency and they're hiring them to make those vertical story videos for them. And this is for anything. Like when Facebook ads came out, hey, we'll run your Facebook ads for you, we'll write them for you, we'll make the videos for you, you know, we'll measure the ad campaigns for you, all of this stuff. And so what you need to do is understand whatever the trend is right now that business owners are trying to get in on and either understand how to skill up and actually offer that service yourself or find people who can offer that service, train them up or find people who are already trained and you're the one that sells it. Somebody else can fulfill it for you and this is a really, really beautiful deal because you can leverage your time, you can help business owners with what they need and what you can do is profit off of the margin in the middle. So I know that was a lot, but these are three methods that you can use to make money on Facebook. I've used all of these. Number three is definitely the fastest, but just to recap, definitely make sure that you're building a free Facebook group that at the same time builds Definitely make sure that you're building a free Facebook group that at the same time builds your email list. Look at selling digital products to people on Facebook for whatever niche you're in, whether those are your products or somebody else's to start with. And look at selling services to business owners. Business owners are constantly buying services and it's a great way where you can invoice somebody immediately before you've even delivered on anything to get fast cash flow in your business that you can use to just live your life or you can use to fund other things. So I hope that this video helped. If you definitely got some value out of this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you wanna see future videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified before everybody else when future videos come out. I also wanna hear from you, right? I know my audience would like to hear from you as well. So leave a comment below this video and let me know which of these three is your favorite and if you've done any of these three in the past. And if you're interested in an exclusive training from me that you cannot find on YouTube, then definitely hit the link in the description or go to socialsellingblueprint.com and learn how to pull $1,000 to $15,000 sales from your personal Facebook profile for free without ads and without sales calls. My friend, I hope that you're doing well. Definitely give this video a like and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.